Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, welcome yourselves to a comparison video between Ride and Ride 2. So let's get straight into it with Ride. Uh, this is on a BMW HP4 at Imola. Um, I'm on exactly the same bike in Ride 2 as well at the same track. So um, we will look at these side by side in a minute. So that is Ride 1. Go to Ride 2 now. Again, same bike, same track, same pretty much position. Um, but there will be a few differences that you will see when we do the side-by-side -side comparison. One of them being the brightness. Um, so we got Ride on the left and Ride 2 on the right. You can see that Ride 2 is brighter, a bit sharper than the first Ride. Um, graphically, it's not a huge difference, just maybe slightly better on uh, Ride 2 with like lighting and stuff like that. But um, not a huge amount of difference. Now we're going to do a lap on Ride on the BMW HP4 around Imola and um, then we will do a lap again but with uh, Ride 2 and then we'll do another lap but we'll put them side by side so that you can see the differences around the track um, the sound as well uh, you'll be able to hear the differences then they're, they're not a huge amount different in terms of sound but um, Ride 2 just sound a bit better um, Still not where they should be in levels of sound uh, for for the bikes, but um, it's what we got at the moment, and uh, it's definitely an improvement over the first ride. Um, the handling in the first game is it's really easy to be honest, even with traction control turn right off, anti wheelie turn right off, pro uh, physics. The bike doesn't move around a hell of a lot. You can chuck it in the corners, you can bang the throttle on. And uh, you very rarely actually get a slide out of the rear. Um, the bike doesn't move around a hell of a lot when uh, like heavy braking or strong acceleration. The bike is pretty planted. Um, going from side to side is quite slow in ride. Uh, so going through chicanes can be a right pain in the ass. Um, I know that it's something that they did improve on in Valentino Rossi the game. Um, they didn't improve on it a huge amount in Ride 2. It has been improved, but not a huge amount. It's still quite slow going from side to side, which does make some of the chicanes still a bit of a pain. Not as bad as the first game. Um, but so again, they, they have improved. They have taken a step forward. So that is the end of the first ride. And we'll look at Ride 2. You can see that there is a bit of a tone difference in the sound. They sound a bit more realistic as well. Um, again, the uh, everything's brighter and everything. Um, the bike feeling is better in Ride 2. I did speak briefly about um, going from side to side is uh, a bit easier. Uh, the bike does move around a hell of a lot more. Um, again, using Pro Physics, traction control turn right off and uh, anti-wheelie turn right off. The bike does move around a bit more. It does tend to want to wheelie a lot more as well. So the, the bikes in general do feel a lot more lively in a uh, Ride 2, uh, which is a good thing. They uh, they don't feel like they, they're stuck to the uh, to the track with uh, super glue. Um, and you can get some really nice slides as well and get the rear spinning up um, and have some spectacular uh, the wobbles and that, especially if you look at them in, re in the replay. But um, overall, the, the feeling is better than Ride 2. Again, like I said, uh, moving from side to side is a bit quicker. Um, still not as quick as I'd like it to be, but um, it's definitely a bit quicker than the first game. So um, it's definitely an improvement. Um, you'll see as well, something to look out for when I do the side-by-side -side comparison is look into the background of the tracks because they have been improved quite a bit especially at this track um, on the first ride they were very very bland not a lot going on but uh, in ride 2 they have improved that quite a bit by adding different um, a lot more things into the background be it trees or people or buildings and stuff like that so that is the end of ride 2's lap so side by side comparison ride is on the left ride 2 is on the right we've got the sound of ride at the moment um, and then halfway around the lap we'll switch to ride 2 just so that you can uh, see the difference but if you look at the background see what I mean um, 
there is a lot more going on. You will notice it a bit further around the uh, around the track as well. Uh, just things in the distance look better. Uh, they look more crisp and more realistic. Um, you did just glimpse the helicopter as well. That's new to ride two. Um, that wasn't in the first ride. Also, ride two, of course, you got wet weather now, um, which wasn't in the first game. So that's uh, something that they've put in there, which is quite nice. Um, as we start going uphill, we will be switching over to ride two anytime now. So now we've got the sound of ride two, and uh, you can hear is definitely is a. Uh, different the sound it's not too similar to what it used to be um, it does sound a bit better but like like I said the background everything just looks better and um, obviously there's different sponsors now than uh, what there was in the first game but um, yeah just everything's brighter sharper still not like what they should be for um, this generation that we're on with consoles in there uh, like especially on PC and that should still be really good graphically but um, that's one thing that uh, well one of the things that milestone games lack in is the uh, graphics department and of course sound as well they did improve the sound by recording the bikes a bit different to what they did before um, hence why they do sound a bit more um, realistic but still not quite up there with uh, the sound of the actual bikes in real life unfortunately but uh, hopefully we'll, we will eventually get there. So that's the end of the side-by-side -side comparison. One thing that was absent from the first ride was flames um, coming out of the exhaust. They are in ride two, which is very nice. Crashes uh, in ride there, you know, your rider doesn't really do much. He just slides. But in ride two, we've got the ragdoll physics. So you can get some really spectacular crashes. Like ride, your, your rider just stays pretty much in the same position. But obviously with ragdoll physics, they just flip all over the place which is like I said you can get some quite uh, spectacular crashes and high sides and stuff so that is pretty much it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this video it's just a little something I wanted to do just to uh, do a comparison video between the two games to see um, the the differences and changes to the game in general so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave this video a like if you did subscribe to my channel for more content I shall see you guys in the next video see you